Hello everybody, welcome back to the AI video. This one, we're in chat LLM Teams and today we're gonna look at their awesome new AI project functionality. The crew at Abacus AI has done it again. They've shipped some incredible features. We're gonna do things like looking at uploading our own files. We're gonna be asking questions of these files, setting custom instructions, collaborating with our coworkers, and really working and manipulating with data. If you are a project or product manager, maybe your data analyst or manager of some sort or anybody that works really with data, this is the video for you. Let's dig in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, here we are. So we're inside chat LLM Teams. If this is your first time using it, there's a link in the description below. And keep in mind, it's only 10 bucks per user per month. I tell you that because ChatGPT alone is $20 per month. And with this, you get ChatGPT and you get like a thousand times more functionality. It's amazing. I've made 40 videos on it. Check them out, playlist in the description. Okay, let's start cooking. Up at the top left here, you'll see toggle side nav. Let's click on that here. If it's not open for you, click it. And then on the left side underneath that, you're gonna see a few options. One of them is projects. It's right underneath tasks. I'm just gonna click on that here. And presto, we are now in the projects panel. In the middle here, you'll see that I've been working on a few different projects. And I'm gonna show you a couple of them. And we're gonna go from you know basic projects up to a little bit more complex so I can show you what it can do. As you can imagine, the first thing we wanna do here, click on create project. Let's go ahead and select a name for it. So I'm gonna call it e Eli5. This is just basically the Feynman technique. Explain it to me like I'm five years old. Okay, let's provide a description. Explain like I'm five, Eli5. Five. Imagine you were applying to a five-year-old. And based on some of my recent actions, that's about where I'm thinking mentally here these days. So anyways, let's go ahead and click on create. And presto, we've now got our new project. We are in it. Now let's just start off with something very, very simple. Why is the sky blue? <laughs> Pretty simple question, right? Well, let's go ahead and click on the go button here. See what it comes back with here. Now, while it's cooking here, you can see here it says Eli5. Then it says root LLM, which is their smart routing system or their smart router. And then it says routing to Gemini 2.0 flash. So here's what it came back with. It gave us an answer. Imagine you have a bunch of tiny marbles and you throw them at a big light. Okay, it's perfect. It's Eli 5. I love it. Feynman technique style here. But if we want to go a step further, we can go down here and regenerate our answers using our own selected large language model. So this one here used Gemini 2.0 Flash because it's nice and fast. But if I wanted to see what GPT-4 Omni, Claude Sonnet 3.7, GPT-4 O Mini, etc. gave me, I would just click that button and off we go. It would redo it and it would give us the answer according to Claude Sonnet 3.7 like I just did there, and that's even simpler. So there you go, that's one example. It was super simple, that's the functionality. Now let's take a deeper dive in and look at some of the other cool things you can do. Some customization, we're gonna manipulate data, etc. Let's go. All right, so that's a nice simple one for you, but let's up the ante, let's make it a little spicier. Let's do it again here. All right, click on projects like I did last time, but this time we're gonna create a course and in particular, we're gonna do a summary. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. Click on create project. Let's call this one Macbeth and provide a description. Keep in mind, this is optional, but in this case, we're in a teacher's role and we wanna do a course. So we're gonna do a course on Macbeth. Why not? Let's have some fun here. And again, this could be anything, guys. We're gonna click on create. All right, so we have a project ready now. Here's where it gets fun though. We can now upload project files for it to consider in creating our prompt. So here we go, I'm gonna click on upload files. And then here, I'm gonna go into my finder. If you are on a PC, go into your Explorer and check it out here. I'm gonna go into my Macbeth folder and you'll see here that I don't have one, but I've got two different sources here. I've got a Macbeth notes, which is a breakdown of it by scene by scene. And then I've got a nice fancy PDF that has similar uh, stuff, but a little bit different in terms of its content. I'm gonna drag and drop both of those in here. So we're gonna upload these from our computer. I'm gonna close that. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead and type in what I want here. So give me a summary, oops, summary of act two, scene two. And I'm just picking one here at random. Watch this here. Again, keep in mind that it is using our source documents here and we can trace you know, what it's doing here. You can see it says Macbeth and it goes to root LLM and then it routed it to GPT-40. GPT-40 based on our documentation has given us this here. In act two, scene two of Macbeth, the scene takes place immediately after Macbeth murders the king. 
Perfect, that's exactly what we were looking for here. And if we want to regenerate this, we can select a different large language model. It, access, it has access to all of the state-of-the-art large language models. It's done. It was that simple. It took seconds. I want to show you one last quick example if you don't have data, because we're going to get the data right out of chat LLM. This is wild. Watch this one. All right. And the final example I want to show you real quickly here is if you don't have your own data and you'd like to get data and you don't want to use multiple tools, this is AI automation at its finest. Watch what we do here. So here we are. We're back in chat LLM teams. I'm going to go through the same process here. Click the little side nav bar, click on projects. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. But again, keep in mind that we don't have data. So we're going to call this one the Olympics. Uh, and what we want here is we want in our descriptions, and this is optional, Olympic gold medals since 2000. We're going to go from since year 2000. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and create that here. And you'll see here we've got our project. That said, we don't have any project files because we don't have it downloaded. Not a problem. Watch this. I'm in another chat uh, tab of chat LLM teams here. I'll close that up here and let's go ahead and create our own data. Let's get it here. So I'm going to go click on this more button here and down at the bottom, you're going to see doc generation. Let's go ahead and do that. I've selected O3 mini high and actually, yes, I'm going to go with O3 mini high. And then here we go. Let's just describe what data we're looking for. Give me the gold oops, medal winners since Let's go since 1996, because I'm going to show you something a little bit uh, more advanced here. Since 1996 in all Olympics, so I guess summer and winter, uh, give me their country as well. Something simple like this here, guys. Watch this. Again, we've got doc generation selected. Click the go button here. This is going to generate a document for us. And then we're going to save this document and we're going to drop it right into our project. It is literally that simple. And we do not have to use a second app platform tool, piece of software, nothing. It's all done in here. I'm going to wait a few seconds till it's done. Then I'll show you the next step. All right. Welcome back. So here we go. We're creating our own data here. This is just a quick example here. So there you go. We've gone ahead and we've created our own Word document. You can click on this download button right here and presto, it downloads. Double click on that to open it. And then you'll see here Olympic gold medal winners from each year. And it's got the, uh, I guess it got what they competed in. In this case, we're looking at men's 100 meters and it even gave us women's 100 meters as well. So why not? There we go. I didn't state if it was running or swimming or anything like that. So this is extremely clever on chat LLM's uh, behalf. Really well done. So I'm going to go ahead and close that up. But there you go. Now let's go back into our other tab. We've created our own data and let's go ahead and finish off this Olympic project here. So under project files, well, let's just upload the file here. So I'm going to go back into finder. I'm going to go grab that folder here. I'm going to grab that file actually here and drop it in here. And there it goes. It says upload from computer. And that's our Olympic gold medal winners in the 100 meter click on close under custom instructions. I'm going to go ahead and just type in some stuff here. So I'm just going to do this real quickly here. Only focus on data from the, ah, this is not a CSV. This is a word document, word document since 2000 and answer based on that. Ignore the rest of the data. You will keep in mind that the original document we created was from 1996. And this is just to show you that you can select snippets of the document as opposed to having to use the whole thing. Just a little thing here, but for you data types, this will make a lot of sense. I'll click on update and then done. Now we've got our instructions, we've got our file. Then I'm gonna be like, uh, let's just let's just ask it something. Um, which country won the most gold medals? Oops, there we go, something like that, okay? We're just, we're now again, we are using our own data here. It's looking through it here. It went from the Olympics. It went to Root LLM, Smart Router, Gemini 2.0 Flash. USA appears frequently. <laughs> Jamaica has a strong showing in the 100 meter sprints. Okay, that's a little more than, than I expected. And Netherlands appears multiple times in swimming. I mean, this is pretty cool stuff here. Here we're back in the Olympics here. And if I wanted to type in something like, which country won the most gold medals, but I want to be specific, like in sprinting. Watch this. It'll just go ahead and flip through that document again. Analyzing the file, Jamaica and the USA both have the most gold medals in sprinting since 2000 based on the provided document. How good is that, guys? We did all of that in chat LLM teams. It took us a few minutes. But if you're a data analyst, if you work with data in any way and you work with projects, AI, things like that, you got to try it out. Links in the description below. 
Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.